Hey lovelies, good evening. It is the 13th episode of Sessions of Spirit. I am so excited, I cannot even contain it. I'm telling you right now. First off, I know there are a lot of negative associations with the number 13. I want to clear that right up first and foremost. Guys, 13 is actually a very lucky number. It is, um, hence why I always do specials for Friday the 13th. You know, in our house, that is a day that is celebrated. Yes, we do not follow the name mm -mm, that it's a bad day. Oh, it's going to be a day, but no, we don't follow that. It is a day to embrace. It's a day of new beginnings, even. So that is why I am so excited about tonight's episode. I did, guys. I am also on TikTok now. Your girl is getting bigger. Oh my gosh! Yes, we're doing the TikTok. We did. We we jumped in. And as you guys know, I am a Facebook gal. Yes, that's where you guys could find me, you know? It's kind of hard to stray from home. It is, you know? And I have been with Facebook from the beginning. Oh my gosh. So it's kind of like to deviate from that. But I got to practice what I tell you guys. And that is just try new things. Buy the purse, right? Literally. And, you know, buy the shoes. Take those chances in life, especially the ones that literally make you want to do a full on body dry heave. If you are not testing the waters, then what are you doing? What are you doing? Why waste the time? Something to think about, especially with it, like I said, being episode number 13. Let's take our first caller, okay? Um, love, hi, how are you? Hello. Grace? Yes, hi, Jean Rose, how are you? Hey, love, how are you? I'm okay. Happy Easter to you. Thank you, love, and to you as well. How can I help you tonight? Jean Rose, um, I've got a situation in my family. Um, my father passed. And um, he did something a bit dirty with my mum. He he took her off the will and put her put my brothers onto it. And I, I felt it's like it was a coercive thing. And I'm trying to help her with it. What I'm trying to see is right now everyone's angry for me, at me, trying to help my mother, um, and they're not really talking to me or my mother about it. Um, just how is our, my family relationship going to be in this whole, I suppose, mess that my dad left? Yeah. Where does the deceit come into play? And I feel Sorry like that, that entails like covering things up or hiding things. Does that yes. make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. Love, I got hit with this energy grace. Oh my gosh. I have a horrible poker face and I will totally admit it, love. So when I pick something up, you can usually tell from the look of my face. So please do not take it as me being rude whatsoever. I suddenly, and it was almost, it was like sickening. I got sick, I got hit with like this sickening feel of like lies and deceit, like almost like the ten of swords type energy. And you know what? I'll even mm, do I have that deck? I don't. I was going to say, if I had the Rider Waite deck nearby, I would definitely show you from that one because that is a deck that people are most familiar with. Um, but with that being said, let's find the Ten of Swords. That deceit, that betrayal, things being covered up, people not wanting to admit things. Um, there also being a lot of bad blood, bad blood meaning one day you talk, one day you don't. Does that make sense? And why do I feel like it was always based on someone's mood? Does that make sense, Grace? Someone's mood. Who is the moody one that would dictate how family gatherings were run, all of it, holidays, birthday, all of it? Who is that person uh, in the family? Probably my oldest brother. <laughs> okay. Is he a bit of a narcissist, love? Just a touch or the control freak? I've got two of them. I've, I've come from a, a family of them. Oh, love. And I know that definitely. And I'm standing up for hard. myself and I'm standing up for my mother now. And you know what? Good for you. 
And I mean that with all the love and strength in the world, because I know, especially in facing a narcissist, that is not exactly the easiest energy to take on. I will say, once you take back control from one, it almost becomes comical because they lose their mind. They really, Grace, they do. And that I say, not just as a reader, but also personal experience. Like I said, it right. gets to the point where it becomes comical because they throw themselves on the floor like a two-year-old during a tantrum. And it's like, are you serious? You, like, you need yeah. Jesus. I mean, like, I'm sorry. You know, like, you just want to actually like say that and just like walk away. And it's like, oh, God, I do feel as though that will be dealt with, that whatever is in the dark will come to light, especially in terms of of the estate slash will. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. And then in regards to like your mom, why do I feel like it'll fall back to law or she can fight it? Being the well, spouse. that's why I'm trying to help her fight it. Okay. She feels well, lost by everybody. Especially, you know, of course I can't give legal advice, but I definitely yes, I would encourage that. you to seek legal counsel. I definitely. Love, I would get a lawyer yeah. like yesterday. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I, that's and I would what I see was. what your options. Yeah, see what your options are. But I definitely that's would not cool. leave it. Just at, don't accept it as is. That's ultimately the point I'm trying to make. You know? And then how, if I could ever find this how is, I think she, card. Sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah, she's go worried ahead. about. Yeah, sorry. She's worried about the whole relationship between all of us, how it's pretty much destroyed by it. Yes. And that's one thing that ultimately one day you guys will all either have the chance to reconcile with or not. And I know that could definitely be a difficult thing. I can't find this blessed card in this deck. Um, but look, can I just go ahead and pull a couple of tarot cards for you? Is that okay, Grace? Grace? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. okay. I'm just yeah, yes, absolutely sorry. It's, it's just hearing the hearing. Yes. Yeah. You are totally fine. I know last week we had some technical difficulties. I just wanted to make sure they weren't happening again. You know, that would be. Yeah, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Loud and clear now. Awesome. That's Positioning and planning. Grace, contact a lawyer. Move forward with legal counsel. Hands down. Okay. Wonderful. Don't yeah. let it just be. I'm not saying start a war in the family, but what is rightfully your mother's should go to her, regardless as to okay. whatever your brother wants. That doesn't mean uh, anything. It doesn't mean a thing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing by supporting her and following it through for her. I think you are. The first card you received was the Four of Cups, and this card dropped reversed, and that card would be a call to action. So instead of sitting back, if the card fell upright, I read reversals. So, Grace, when a card drops reversed or upside down, it has a different meaning. So, for instance, if the card fell upright, it would talk about sitting back and kind of looking at things. In the Rider Waite deck, three of the four cups are knocked over. That even can refer to kind of mulling over things, whether past or mm -hmm. present. Your spell reversed. Instead of mulling, it, there's enough thinking. En enough thinking, now it's time to do. Like I said, definitely make some calls. See who you can yeah. reach out to. Start to make a plan. Position and plan yourself. Or plan, you know what I mean, for yourself. And also for your mom. Yeah. Do I think it's wrong for you to you know, stick by her side and have her side through this? Absolutely not. No, I don't think it's wrong. I don't. And if they have a problem with it, then that just is a testament that almost more, oh, I can't even say it. Yeah. How much more guilty they are. It's like sickening how much they cover up and how much they, and I am not love trying to come for your family. So please understand anything and everything I say in the reading, I only say out of love, but I'm not here to be like, oh yeah, and it's going to be great. And things are going to work. That's not a reading. A reading sometimes brings us to our knees. And I feel like for you definitely is kind of happy. It's that mirror that you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I want to know, you know? And I totally understand that. So like I said, no disrespect to your family, 
But I definitely think it wouldn't just be in your mom's best interest, but it also would be in your own best interest to stand up with your mom alongside her. Uh, definitely. Hands exactly down. That's how hands I down. feel. And, and I'm sorry, angry woman at me. to woman, woman to woman, that's also your mom. That's Regardless absolutely of correct. Whatever that's your brothers do or don't do, that at the end of the day is your mom. You will never have guilt about taking her side. I can promise you that. And I feel like if you don't ride this wave with her and see where it goes, you will. And I'm not wishing it on you, but I, I feel like from your energy, you will always wonder what if, and you'll carry immense regret because it'll always be, I should have helped my mom. I should have helped my mom. What if I helped my mom? And then you'll end up torturing. So it's not worth it because that'll lead to its own rabbit hole. So definitely, like I said, there's nothing wrong with finding out information for her. There's nothing wrong with support. You get one mom. One. That's right. I'm just saying. And That's I'm right. not and that, and saying that, that to guilt you into it. I'm just saying that sometimes we kind of need to hear it. And especially from like another one. It's like, no, that no, like, wake up. Like, you're not doing the wrong thing. You're not doing the wrong thing. So it's I definitely that's, hope that's this has helped, love. I really, truly do, Grace. I hope it gave you that peace of mind where you're able to sort of take that step forward. I, I think for a 91-year-old woman, I think I just want her last years on this earth to be as happy, and she wants her family united, and this is just tearing it apart. But yes. I don't know. Yeah. I can only be and by her side and support her. her. And I think the best way to support her is to be there with her. You know, That's and especially with and bless her for being 91. That is amazing. I think as long as she has you, she'll be okay. And I'm not Beautiful. just saying that. I mean that. I truly, yeah. I feel like in her heart, as long as she has you, it's like, what did you do that made her like really, really proud? I stood up for myself. I stood up to my brothers for her as well. And Grace, you're going to question it? You want to know where you learned this strength? It was from her. And I'm not trying to talk about her as if she, no, just her energy. I can pick up people's energy like that. I'm just saying the energy, you wonder where you get it from. You're a carbon copy of her. Everything that she always longed to be, everything that she always longed to say, you do it. Yeah, she you was, she was um, married in a narcissistic relationship and so was I. So I think we've just turned it all around now. Yes. And standing definitely. up for ourselves now. Absolutely. And especially having that shared experience. That is so Absolutely. important because that's going to bond the two of you even stronger. Absolutely, it has. And our, our relationship has increased in the last few months. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, yeah, beautiful. I'm so glad to hear Thank that. Thank you so much, Jane Rose. You're so welcome, Grace. You have a wonderful night. Okay. Happy Easter. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Up next, we have Tay Reese. Love, am I saying your name correctly? Therese. Therese, hello, love, how are uh -huh. you? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. What What are we reading on this uh, evening? Um, I actually was just wondering if you could just give me like a general, like love, um, uh, health, Whatever comes to you. No problem. Why don't we do love? I do offer health readings, but those are larger spreads, meaning like 15 cards or more. So we'll go with love. But definitely, if you like my style of reading, love, feel free to follow me on social media. Yes. Oh, my gosh.
That was a beautiful shuffle. Ooh, love. Okay. Are you you're single now? I am single. Okay. Well, not for long. <laughs> you got the page oh. of crystals. Uh, yeah. And the pay and love. I'm a straight shooter as a reader. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm only going to tell you what the cards say. You got two pages okay. back to back. First one was the page of crystals, which is going to be the equivalent to the page of pentacles. Next up was the page of shells. That is the equivalent to the page of cups. Now, I know I'm saying equivalent, but trust me when I say a tarot deck, the meanings do not change. Yes, that's why I'm so hard on people when they claim they're readers. Because if you don't learn all 78 cards plus the reversals, then what are you doing? You know what I mean? You have to be able to jump from deck to deck. That's why I have no problem consistently reminding you of, okay, this deck it, or this suit, excuse me, is this suit. They don't change. So cups are going to be all about love. Pages are going to refer to the start of beginning of something new. And it is also going to be stable. So it's not going to, he's not going to be like emotionally unavailable. It's not going to be like that or like he's married or anything like that. Nothing crazy. No, he's actually going to be open to a relationship. No games, no Perfect. nothing. Yes. I, I was like, oh my gosh. Do I feel three shells was the third card. He's not going to be a partier. That's very good. He's not going to be a partier. Is that something that you require or that is a standard for you? Um, I mean, you know, when I was a little bit younger, I partied a lot and I'm past that, you know, and I just need someone that's a little more settled down and not, you know, partying every night. <laughs> that makes sense. Because I was going to say the three of shells. That would be a lack of partying because the three of shells upright refers to celebrations, gatherings. It can even refer to like a restaurant or a bar. Yours fell reversed. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, because with tarot, it's not just the card, but also the surrounding cards. So card combinations. So I'm like, oh, okay. The start of something stable with somebody who basically has their craft together, doesn't like to party, isn't out on like doesn't do the bar scene or the club scene doesn't do any of that the fourth I don't card, and they're going to be logical you got another page love you got three pages that is so good um and the reason why i say that is because the page of feathers is going to be the equivalent to the page of swords so they're going to be logical too maybe an air sign you know, I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, wait for a Libra or, you know, I don't want to do that because you know what, not for nothing. What if you meet a Leo and yeah. they're amazing and they knock your star? I don't like when readers do that. I hate that Yeah. because then that makes that person hone in on only that. And then before you know it, what if you, that relationship is toxic? That's why I don't like limiting it to a specific sign. Could it be an air right. sign? Yeah. But overall, the features or characteristics of a sword is going to be somebody who's very logical not aloof you know they're going to be sensitive yeah. but not in their feels not overly so i definitely see it as something you know really good one i will throw out there for sure is a sagittarius and the only reason why i say that one is because that was the major that fell was temperance. The zodiac sign that it corresponds to is going to be a Sag. So maybe be on the lookout, or if you know a Sag, I'm just saying, don't say I didn't say it. With the Sag, the other signs, am I like eh, air? No, no, I'm not. So I definitely, you know what I mean. And I know it's kind of like yeah. okay, I'm not trying to. Backpedal. It's just I'm trying to make it specific. When I get a court card, it's kind of like it could be any one of the three. But when you get right. a major arcana, that only corresponds to one sign. And it was the very last card I pulled for you. And I pulled five. 
So like I said, okay. if anything, it could be a Sag or they could have Sag-like characteristics, adaptable, down to earth, funny, charming. But, and I how, how do I say this without saying it? <laughs> Not like a jerk. I love it already. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I yeah yeah I won't say it, but <laughs> just not a jerk, but like down to earth. Sages are out of the fire signs, and I could speak on this because I'm a Leo. The least, the le yeah the least hot headed, the most grounded. Like I said, they are adaptable. Oh my god, where a Leo or an Aries, we will freak out. We take it as the carpet is ripped out from underneath us. Where they're more like eh, whatever. And they kind of move along. Uh. That's the type of energy. So if it's not specifically a Sag, it would very well be a person of Sagittarius characteristics. Does that make sense? Who's okay. logical, sensitive, and grounded? I don't want to say like exactly the perfect, what I need. <laughs> per, right? Well rounded. Oh yeah. Love, do you what hobby do you do at night? Um, I actually don't have a lot of hobbies right now. Um, I made but a major move. You do it one day. It's one day specific during the week. It's only during this one night. I don't know if it's like a TV show. I don't know what it is. Is your grandmother past love? Mm -hmm. What's that? Is your grandmother and mother past? Yes, both of them are. Who had the blonde hair? My mom. Oh my God, I just got chills all over my body. Well, love, she wants you to know that she's with you. I, her and you know, her mother I, I, are together. I know that. I feel her all the time. In fact, yes. I even say hello to her, you know, when I feel her presence. It's just crazy. Did you ask her to for me to say something? Like, if she's um, real, let her say something. Like, did you make a deal or something with her like that? Or say something like that? Like, or did you hope that she was going to come through? Because she looks at me and um, she's like, she has no idea. Yeah, she no idea. No <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm well, surprised. <laughs> well, I, I have just missed wanted to her. I've thought about her you. so much lately. Oh, my gosh. It's just crazy that. Like you described her. <laughs> yes. Oh, very giggly. Very. Did she like to go? She, she's kind of funny like that, too. She was a real a, a character, you know. Bit fire. When she felt like she was getting, you know, something up she over you and, and oh, laugh yes. and, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Her energy is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad that she stepped forward and I was able to confirm this for you. You have no idea. I love being able to do surprise mediumships. Oh, that's great. Did she garden, love? Or did you, yes. do you garden? Who's the gardener? Both of us. Both of us. Do you grow one of the flowers that she had? Um, I have. Was, I'm not right now, but yes. She's okay. who got me into growing plants and vegetables and rose bushes and flowers. You know, she was very much into flowers. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say she showed me she kept showing me roses. And I, you know, I mean no disrespect. I'm like, okay, I get it. You're at peace, like you know, because that's my symbol when they mean that they are at peace. If they extend the bouquet, then and but she was like, no. Then finally, she's like, dummy, no. And she pointed to my wrist. Oh my god! Wait, that's wait just for like it. Her. <laughs> the reason why she pointed to my wrist, I have a rose tattoo. Oh, you just wow. said she grew roses. <laughs> Because I didn't, I didn't. Roses was her favorite thing. She like she grew roses every single year. That was her yeah. thing. Her, her favorite. And I thought, I thought she meant the symbol. <gasps> I didn't realize she was going. Mm. And then she's like, "No, look, dummy!" Like she got, 
She's a spitfire. She is an act. I swear that sounds just like her. <laughs> yes. Like almost, um, you know, like Sophia from Golden Girls, like that sarcastic, yep. kind of like that, almost like that. Yep. We used to you know, call her Golden that, Girl. Yes. <laughs> that sassy, like, oh my gosh. That, that's how I see her. Just very, very quick, very quick witted, very quick witted. Yes. Love, oh my gosh, what a blessing to be able to bring her through. Thank you so much for allowing me this honor, truly. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, that was great. <laughs> well, love, definitely follow me on Facebook. I am Tarot Readings by Jean Rose. I would love to keep, keep in touch with you, possibly read you again in the future. That would be so wonderful for me. Oh my gosh, it would. Awesome. Thank you so much. For, no problem. For doing that, I was time. I kind of had a feeling she was going to come through, but I Aww. didn't say anything. I was kind of waiting, but I wasn't sure. But yeah. I have felt her presence a lot lately. So, thank you I'm so glad. much. You're so very welcome. You have a wonderful night. You too, and I will uh, look you up on Facebook. Okay, love. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. No problem. Bye bye. Guys, another amazing episode of Sessions with Spirit. I can't believe tonight is episode 13. Don't forget, if you like my style of reading, I am available for private appointments. Of course, if you would like to book for a tarot reading or a mediumship session. And I do also offer, just in case you guys want a little quick detail, 30 or 60 minute increments. So it really is up to you. Just contact me and we will get something worked out according to your needs. You can follow me on Instagram at Tarot by Jean Rose or on Facebook at Tarot Readings by Jean Rose. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure and honor this evening as we made history doing the 13th episode of Sessions with Spirit. All of you have a wonderful night and a beautiful weekend and take care.